Hey guys, don't mind my like face. <laughs> I don't have any foundation on. This is how I've been going to work. Just like eyes. And I threw on a lippy. Just for you. And a little highlight. Because that's for me. The lippy's for you. The highlight's for me. Anyway. We are going to be doing the Boxy Rewind. Where we go back and talk about all the stuff that I got in my most recent, most recent Boxy Charm box. And we get into all the tea now that I've had a chance to use all of it and I'll tell you what I liked what I didn't like what I would buy again what I will never buy and all of that if you are new to the channel hit subscribe the big red button hit it ring the bell and turn your notifications to on you'll know exactly when I upload I have videos up every Monday Wednesday and Friday because I love you guys so much Ooh -hoo. I'm weird <laughs> No one warned you, did they? They didn't warn you. I'm weird. Let me, I'll, I'll warn you. Okay. So let's get into this, guys, because, like, some of this may surprise you. Some of it may surprise you. Um, first of all, let's, let's get into these granny wipes. I used them in my video, my unboxing video, and, uh, <laughs> they smell like a grandma. Like, they smell like a grandma. They stink. But I went ahead and, uh, tried them with like waterproof mascara because that's like the claim it's like it's on the packaging it's on the packaging removes even waterproof mascara survey says that was a lie did not it did not get all of it like it was still like I had to go in with other wipes to get it all off before I went to the shower like just full tea and um they smell they smell like an old grandma. Like, they smell, like, florally with, like, slight, like, medical ointment smell. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just... So these are granny wipes. <laughs> and they do good on taking the makeup off. But, like, if it's really pigmented, you're probably going to have to go through a couple of wipes. Um, not feeling it. It's not feeling it. But, um, thanks, Boxy, for letting me try these. Not a fan. But, what, what, what was, you get 25. I've probably used, like, four or five of them now. Just, just try and get stuff off. So, not a fan of that. Not a fan. Would not buy them again. Do not recommend. No. Um, the item that I chose to be in my box was this Glam Glow Berry Glow probiotic recovery mask um it's okay it's okay like I it has a weird smell to it but like when I used it like once it was on the face like it just smelled like a berry smoothie like it didn't smell as weird as it does in here so I don't know if it's the packaging or what but like yeah it smells weird like it's to me it smells like someone Hello. To me, it smells like someone spilt their berry smoothie into a can of paint. Bug didn't like it either. <laughs> like, it just, it smells weird. Yes, baby. Yes. I hear you. But once it was on the face, it just smelled like berry smoothie. But, like, I really didn't feel like it did anything more than, like, just regular moisturizer would do so I would not buy this again but like if you don't have like a moisturizing regime and all of that like this might be a good purchase like it if you have a regular moisturizing this this does nothing it does nothing just throwing it out there just saying just saying um then we have <laughs> my soap on a rope <laughs> I use this. I do like the smell. Like, the smell is really good. Like, it really reminds me of that, like, kind of uh, lemon-lime verbana smell that uh, Bath & Body Works used to have. I think it's been discontinued now, but, like, yeah. It smells great. Did it wash my hair? Not really. Like, it, you know, it said 
to wet this, wet your hair, and then run it from, like, root to tip. And then, like, it should lather up. And it kind of lathered, but it didn't really lather. Like, not, like, a huge amount of lather. And then, you know, I rinsed it all out and kind of felt through my hair. And I didn't really feel like my hair was, like, all that clean. You know what I mean? Like, it just, it didn't, I don't know. It just didn't feel right. It didn't feel right. Because, like, I wear a baseball cap at work. Okay? And I work six days a week. So, a lot of stuff gets trapped in here. Because, like, I also have to have my hair up. So, yeah, having your hair up and then a baseball cap, like, a lot of sweat and oil and stuff gets stuck in here. So, for me, this did not do very well. If you are someone who doesn't have a lot of, like, sweating and stuff, like, it might be okay. Like, I don't know. Like, I just, I wasn't very impressed with it, but I like the smell of it. I just don't like that it didn't, I, like, had to, like, rewash my hair after I washed my hair basically. So not a fan of that, but like their whole thing is they're trying to make it, um, what am I trying to say? Like plastic free. Like they're, it, it's environmental basically. So environmentally, like this is a good idea. It just didn't execute the way they thought it would. I feel like. Okay. So the surprise out of all of this, like out of all of these items, the thing that I loved the most was the eyeshadow primer, which I hate eyeshadow primer, but like I really like this one. It's not tacky and it really keeps the pigment in place. Like it just, it is slapped on there for the day. Um, I really like this and if I remember correctly, Pretty Vulgar is actually pretty cheap too, so I may actually get into eyeshadow primers like this this may be a gateway primer I would definitely rebuy this like I I'm actually probably going to rebuy this when this goes out so that surprised me that really surprised me and then we had the Violet Vuss Essentials eyeshadow which is what I'm wearing today um very pigmented I really liked the pigmentation however um, let me just show you guys if I can do this without it all spilling out. There is a lot of kickback in these and I like barely dipped my brush in these because I knew from swatching that they were really pigmented. So I didn't go very hard in here. This is just from one day's use. <laughs> just, just to be clear, like I haven't gone into these several times. That's just from one day. And it looks like I've used it several times. Like, it's a lot of kickback. Like, I'm not used to that. Except for Morphe. T. But, I mean, it's... They're very pigmented. Like, it's a decent palette. I'm not knocking it. But, like, there's a lot of kickback. So, if you're not used to that, beware. But I've never used Violet Voss before. I've heard of the brand. I've just never used it. And... To be fair, I'm not very impressed with it, but, like, I'm used to Jeffree Star. So, <laughs> I probably shouldn't have started with, like, the, like, top tier, like, holy crap eyeshadow formula as far as palettes go. Because, like, everything else, I'm just like, mm, this is good, but it's not Jeffree. You know, like, <laughs> like that's, that's my baseline is Jeffree Star. Nothing is touching that. <laughs> it's Jeffree. Um... So that was my BoxyCharm box. Uh, next month will be the Boxy Lux. We'll have eight items in there. I chose two. And I had to go back and figure out what I chose because I did not remember at all. And I don't. Um, one of them I did choose an item and the other one I like clicked surprise me apparently. So I have no idea. Like I know one thing that we're getting and I don't even remember choosing it. But apparently I did. <laughs> and then the rest of it's all going to be a mystery. So. That'll be fun. I hope. <laughs> Hello? So that's, that's, that's this. That is this. Most of this was kind of a dud for me. But surprisingly, the one thing that I felt like I was going to hate for sure is the one thing that I would rebuy. 
I was not expecting that. But, like, I, I hate having hooded eyes. Like, when I have an eyeshadow primer that's really tacky, I can feel my eyelid sticking to itself, and I hate that feeling. So I kind of shy away from eyeshadow primers. I just do, like, foundation and concealer on my eyes and then go in with eyeshadow. So I wasn't expecting to like that, but I'm really liking it. So it might have converted me. It made me a believer. Then I saw her face, never a believer. Okay, I'm going to not sing at you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I've been really singy lately while I'm filming. I've noticed that. Like, I'm, like, going back into editing, and I'm, like, and I'm singing again. And I'm singing again. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't, it, it's just me. It's just my brain. I can't, I can't explain me. Ever. And I would like to plug these delicious lips. Star Gem Cosmetics, as this, they just like re-upped their uh, liquid lips, like they like went with a different supplier, and like, I just have to show off, like this, it's like on the bubbles, and like the packaging comes like all like shrink wrapped, and like it looks so professional, like I'm so proud of Journey, like this is like, it's so cool. And this is shade 1994 if i remember correctly is the name and it was actually helped picked out by my friend jenny lee who also was with the support system palette so i'm like really proud of them like i love this lip like this is so 90s but like i'm so 90s so like i love this and then i also got a very purple <laughs> lip like i cannot wait to rock this so I just wanted to show these off, and of course you can use my code to save 25% off your order with Star Gem Cosmetics. Like they are stepping stuff up, and I am so proud of them. And like honestly, like these, this is really nice. Like it's really lightweight, not very drying. And then of course y'all know I'm obsessed. I am obsessed with their setting spray. So check them out. Show them some love because like. We have some really cool stuff, and they're really uh, stepping up what they're doing, and I'm very, very proud of them. So, please check them out. That's it. That's all I say. <laughs> Alright. I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you so much. 